I'm a lonely Goomba, stuck between two pipes. Well, guess I'll keep on gaming for the rest of my life. Guys, I don't know if I ever told you this, but I've always wanted to be a secret agent. But not just any secret agent. Specifically, a secret agent who is also a penguin and has a weird purple pet thing next to him. And you'll never guess what I just found. A fucking game about a secret agent penguin who has a weird purple pet thing next to it. Now, I don't know about you, but there's no way that's a coincidence. It's a sign. A sign from the penguin gods for me to play this game. So, let's do it! Choose your penguin colour. Well, I guess I picked the one closest to me. A lovely shitty brown. Nothing says respect me like a shit stained brown. And my name? Hmm. T U R D Y. Turdy. Turdy, the shit stained brown penguin. Off to a good start, I'd say. So, the game starts, and this penguin is already trying to flog a shit newspaper on us. Yeah, sure lady, I'll read your dinosaur media. Good luck staying relevant to the next five years, you bitch. So anyways, we're going to the coffee shop to get that crap newspaper. So I am, I guess this is basically a point and click adventure game, right? Could be fun, I suppose. And now we get introduced to D. What kind of name is D? I mean, clearly she wants for D, but to name yourself after that fact is a bit desperate. Right, so she's part of a secret organisation called the EPF, the Elite Penguin Force. And just like that, we sign up. Thank fuck for that. I mean, I've just been hired by an organisation no one knows about by a woman who wants for D who hides inside barrels. Nothing suspicious about that. Besides, in this job market, you gotta take what you can get. Oh, look at that. We got a suit and a tie. That's how you know you're a secret agent. I've also changed colour some reason to red. Turd brown not good enough for you. Gotta red wash all the penguins. Is that how it is? Oh, I guess penguins suffer from racism too, yeah. Fucking penguin scum. So, what's our first task as a secret agent? Fight some spies? Save the world? Be James Bond? No, help the construction worker find his lost wrench. Oh dear, you know when you raise your expectations up too high, only for it to come all crashing down? Yep. Yeah. That just happened. So now to look for his bloody wrench. Hey, there it is, that was quick. But nope, he doesn't want that wrench. It has to be a specific wrench. I mean, we're in a shop right next to him and they sell bleeding wrenches. Just buy that fucking wrench, you fussy bastard. Come on now, don't be picky. Right, so after doing that and all the other exciting jobs such as delivering pizzas and finding the seven hiding puffles. Hold on a minute, puffles? I think they prefer being called homosexuals or gays these days. Jesus, talk about offensive. Anyways, it's time to go to the EPF HQ. Oh, that's a lot of letters. And I've got to say, this music is pretty bitchin'. So, now we're introduced to a shady figure who runs this whole operation. And he gives us a creature that turns into a cannon and blows shit up. Guys, I'm starting to think we've been recruited by a terrorist organization here. I'm getting a bit worried. So now that we're armed with a deadly weapon, what do we do now? That's right, deliver fucking pizzas again. God damn it, man. What is with this game and delivering pizza? My agent skills are wasted on this shit. So right, now we get to do a proper mission. Rookie has gone missing. No, not Rookie. He was last seen snowboarding. I guess we finally get to do something. A snowboarding adventure. Here we come. Yes. But first, we gotta get a pro board, and the shop doesn't sell one, so we have to find someone who has one. But he's ill, so we have to go to the pizza shop and get some soup, and then we have to win a snowboarding trophy so we can keep the board to find the missing agent. Fuck me! All I wanted to do was go on a fucking snowboarding adventure. Kinda killed the excitement a bit there, I've got to say. But alas, it is time! Whoa! Teddy got some mad skills! Look at him go! And the crowd goes wild! All three of them! Time for the Autobit Trick Combo. Many have tried, but all have failed. Okay, here we go everyone. Remember, absolute silence is now required. Even the slightest of noise could cause a lapse in concentration, resulting in complete failure. The utmost skill is needed to pull off the Autobit Trick Combo. Remarkable. But remember, absolute silence is now required. Here we go. Absolute silence. 
absolute silence is now required. Oh shit! Teddy! Teddy, are you, are you okay? Teddy, no! He's dead! dead. Will Turdy survive his fatal snowboard accident? Will Goomba fulfill his dream of being a penguin secret agent with a pet purple fuzzy thing next to him? And will you return to watch part 2 without complaining that the video is split into two parts? Find out in the next exciting episode of Lonely Goomba! Goomba.